Should have given me a flashier car. My car, you damn moron! What is that, a front engine? Yeah, but it's like an FR. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, Chase. how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. What's he at? We could do 250. That can do 200 or something. Yeah, both those cars can kick that car. This car's ass, man, for all. Well, this car could probably take the cheat up at the uh, point of sec. So you have two supercars versus one sports car. And as predicted, the Quinnisek is still in first. <laughs> Making moves in the Cheetah. They can't get enough speed to challenge him. Opposite traffic. It's palsy. <laughs> oh no! Spin out. It's just like an F1. He spun out. Deal with it. Catch that fucker! Get Vettel! Or Schumacher. Or Hamilton. Or Rosberg. Or Alonzo. Never Ricardo. Okay, we touched Vegeta. <laughs> Say, Franklin, you're getting your ass kicked here. You're making me look bad. Do better! And that coin is like is gone because it can do 250, whereas I only do maybe 200 at least. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Yeah, you crazy ass motherfucker <laughs> going in oncoming traffic. I like driving this backwards. I don't think they can hear the sirens. We got to No get shit, close. Sherlock. <laughs> as long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. Doing about 200. We could barely do that in these bites, man. <laughs> and we gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait. You know, I could have took a jab at empty box, but uh, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Stay on them, T. They'll stop eventually. 
Why do you keep weaving in and out of traffic? <laughs> It's like they say the top speed in this game is 250, but in reality it's 120. Slowing down. This looks like our shot. It's about time. Hey, we're on bikes. We have better gas mileage than them, so we can basically out run them in time. Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. officer Standard doors, man. Yeah, man, man that's, that, that car sucks car. already. <laughs> Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you wow. bite sized prick. <laughs> Go, Denzel. <laughs> Man, I'm sick of driving so slow, staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? You mean you're sick of driving so damn slow? You could probably beat that cheetah, but you can't beat that uh Cornisek. Like I said before, the Cornisek could do 250. Your car could barely hit over 200. From before, Devin's a assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. Yeah, <laughs> whoa. So, yeah, I think I just shat myself. <laughs> Wait, just don't scratch the car, I should say. <laughs> yeah, but still, those cars, well. Combine them more than the uh, Bugatti, but they sell that car is like what like seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in game. <laughs> That's before everything got inflated. Now like uh, damn supercars like over a million or two million in case of the uh, two nine well two twenty. Hey, 
those cars and most likely going to be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. But you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> the stains on the seats were here when I got in. Oh, okay. oh you can't do that. Well. <laughs> you see, this is why it doesn't pay to watch glitches on YouTube where it's like, okay, you can get this car, you can do this, this, and this, or you can get rich quick in the game by doing this, this, and this. And then when you try it in real life, it doesn't really work out, so you're like, fuck this. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't write me off just yet. It's like, those two are still racing. I'm trying to figure out a way to steal his car. Dude, no, no, don't do it, man. Don't do it. So your train of logic in this was that if you put it in your garage, it'll save the cars. However, that's not always the case. See, that was a mission specific car, and so I don't think you can really save those. And the glitch I saw online, what the dude did was he actually went to a Los Santos Customs, he modified the car, he let the car, he let himself get arrested inside the car, the car got impounded, and then it was a mission failed. And then when the mission restarted, he was back in the, uh, in the car. He completed the mission, he went back to the impound lot, and get a copy of the car there. See, he did that, and I did the garage thing, which didn't necessarily work. So, yeah. 
How to boost a supercar in Grand Theft Auto using glitches. Dale. Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right. See? I'm waiting. place. <laughs> and then sometimes too you kind of forget that these cars are so freaking low that when you hit another car that's kind of raised up, yeah your car kind of says as an improvised ramp. Just FYI. No car. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Delayed smoke. Okay. Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this serious. Tell you what he was thinking about doing. <laughs> Frank, good man. <laughs> so you do realize the engine's in the back of the car, right? <laughs> oh man, he just shot up your luggage. <laughs> uh, the me way back when was so naive about things. Like, what the hell are supercars? Or what is a supercar? Then what's a hypercar? And is there a car above a hypercar? Like, what's the difference between a supercar and a sports car? 
Say, why the hell is the engine in the middle of the car? Or, why the hell is the engine in the rear of the car? Or, is a car that is a front engine, that has a front engine, is it better than a car that has a mid-engine? Or, stuff like that. Like, what do tires do? How do tires work on a car? How do they make the car perform? You know, all these questions. They, they run through my mind. Well, they were running through my mind when, you know, this was going on. And so, thanks to Grand Theft Auto, it partly uh, opened my eyes to a new world about rich things and powerful cars and going really, really fast in a short amount of times. So. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool! Careful how to utilize the entire road. Still filled with traffic. Hey Frank, yeah, what did I tell you, bro? These cars, <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> I'm way out in front, guys. I'm just biding my time. It ain't over till it's over, you heard? Test the guy in last place. Bitch. It's just a minor scratch. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. The fuck? Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! 
Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their oh. driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between <laughs> you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. <laughs> But have gone in sixty seconds. It's like gone in sixty seconds, but not but without all the flare. And Nicholas Cage, Angelina Jolie. Making out in a car. <laughs> well, at least it's five cars in that sixty, so or fifty. The best yeah, fifty cars. Ah, That'd be some shit, though. You got to boost sixty cars in one night. Yeah, hey, I need a cab. Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Okay, thanks for your help. All right, and I think this is a good place to cut it because I don't know. I know nobody wants to see a cab, right? So, all right, <sighs> let's cut it. Get you there fast, buddy. <laughs>